Hello, and thank you for viewing our eighth annual Quality and Patient Safety Day poster presentation. My name is Michael Bach, and my classmate assisting me on this project is Shayla Ternodzik, under the guidance of Dr. Lawrence Dahl. Our poster asks the question, is vitamin D deficiency prevalent during the COVID-19 pandemic? We chose this topic because in light of the pandemic, more and more individuals are remaining inside to socially distance and to quarantine, which will thus reduce UV sunlight exposure and therefore lower vitamin D levels. UV light exposure being the main way that we get vitamin D3. The methods that we used, we surveyed 40 patients at one point in time from ambulatory clinic settings, including internal medicine and infectious disease clinics. From these patients, we gathered their vitamin D3 level, along with their age, their sex, and their race. All patients were gathered from Truman Medical Center, and TMC identifies the normal range of vitamin D from 30 to 100 nanograms per milliliter. Our results of the 40 patients that we surveyed, 28 of them were vitamin D deficient, below the 30 nanograms per milliliter cutoff. 12 of them were within the normal reference range. Simply splitting our patient population up by race, 26 of our patients were black and 14 were white. Splitting up into sex, 25 of them were female and 15 were male. If you take a look at the bar graph, each column is split up into increments of 10 nanograms per milliliter of vitamin D3, the leftmost column being the lowest vitamin D level. As you can see, most of our patients fell within 0 to 10 nanograms per milliliter of vitamin D3, well below the reference range of the lower end being 30. Other interesting data we collected um, was the age range of our patients being 65 years, oldest patient being 87 and youngest being 22. The percent of the black population that we surveyed that was vitamin D deficient is 85%. The percent of white population vitamin D deficient, 42%. Percent. percent of female population deficient is 75%. And then the percent of our male population that was vitamin D deficient is 60%. Other information we gathered was that we performed a brief literature review in regards to low vitamin D levels and other health outcomes. There is a statistically significant correlation between low vitamin D levels and adverse post-operative outcomes, including surgical site infections and in-hospital mortality. Similar, there's a correlation between low vitamin D levels and respiratory complication during general anesthesia. Of course, there are limitations to this study in that only 40 patients were observed and it was only at one point in time. However, it was very interesting to see the vast prevalence of vitamin D deficiency, um, even some significantly deficient, as well as looking at outside literature to how low vitamin D levels can impact overall health and post-operative outcomes. Based on this, vitamin D3 levels should be replaced more aggressively certainly in an outpatient clinical setting, and even preoperatively before any major medical procedure. Thank you very much for listening to our poster presentation.